After I finished the last tutorial, I tried to use the same project files to test something, but to my surprise, something strange happened when I tried to use a different model. That being said, I wanted to share with you some information about this sort of a problem and how to fix it, because there is a big chance that you could face it in some of your future projects. So as you can see, we have this model downloaded from Sketchfab and loaded into our project, and this is how our code base looks like. We have the RGBE in GLTF loader instances loading the environment map in the model. And if you are using parcel as I do, you should be having this static folder containing the necessary files from which it creates copies and puts them in an assets folder within the disk directory. Before I continue, even if you are not using parcel, I highly suggest you keep watching because this has nothing to do with the build tool. Now say we want to use another model, first I'll go delete the files in the static directory because I'll be manually putting files in the assets folder and I don't want parcel to override them with copies from this folder, but this is just for the sake of the simplicity of the tutorial. Next I'll delete these files because we want the other model's files and textures instead. Now back to the browser, I'll hit F5 to refresh and we should be seeing the new model instead, right? Well, that didn't happen, now I'll refresh the page using Ctrl plus F5 instead and see if anything will change. Again, we still have the same model, so I'll try Ctrl plus Shift plus F5, but the same model is loaded again. Furthermore, let's try to restart the server. And still, nothing has changed, we got the same old model loaded when we deleted its files and replaced them with another model files. So before I tell you the source of this problem, I'll show you a partial solution, which is to simply put the new model files in a subfolder. That done, let's change the path here in the load method and take a look at the result. And there we go, the model is finally updated. Now you might be wondering why I said a partial solution, and that's because we'll have the same problem when we try to replace the files within this subfolder. I mean, say we want to change some of the textures of this car. Actually, let's delete the entire folder. Now, if I reload the page, you might expect to see nothing since we deleted the entire folder that contains the model, but we still see the car, so what kind of magic is that? Well, this is called caching, which is probably a familiar term to you as a web developer. So what actually happens is that every time we use the GLTF loader, the browser creates a copy of the loaded files in the cache if there is no copy already, and that's the browser part of the problem. The second part is the GLTF loader itself, because at the time of loading, it looks into the browser cache first to see if a file with the same path we passed as an argument to the load method exists in the cache, and if it does, it loads the cached version instead of the one present in the dist folder. So earlier, when we had both files having the same path and name, the cached version was getting loaded instead of the dist one, and when we changed the path, the right one was loaded. Bear in mind though that I kept saying a problem when it's actually not a problem, it's done intentionally this way to enhance the user experience by decreasing the loading time, because that way the user browser downloads a copy when the app is loaded for the first time, then whenever they revisit the page, they get faster access to it since they have the files loaded from their own machine, not loading it again from the server. However, it remains kind of problematic in the development phase since we may want to change stuff and we want the latest version of the model we are working on. Having said that, to prevent this behavior from happening, we'll start by clearing the cache, so press Ctrl plus Shift plus Delete and check the cached images and files checkbox and hit clear data. Now, once I refresh the page, the model won't be displayed, and as you can see in the console, we have an error message thrown by the loader, because it doesn't find the model in the cache, since we've just cleared it, and neither in the dist folder, because we deleted it earlier. 
Next, we'll go to the Network tab and hit Disable Cache, and this will prevent any caching attempts to any type of file as long as the DevTools is open. Now, let's try to use one of our models. That done, now let's try to replace it. And there we go. And that's it for this video, so make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.